Hey y'all, I'm Joseph DeCosmo, and I've been posting way too many banjo and fiddle things on YouTube lately, but I play this music and give lessons and uh, have been messing around with uh, banjo and fiddle versions of five miles from town, um, trying to, or out of town, or five miles, whatever you want to call it, trying to get like Clyde Davenport's fiddle version and banjo version down, and you can check those videos out if that's interesting to you. Um, I wanted to make a video today using a little, kind of just playing the tune fast and slowly in a little index lead style that a lot of local players up on the Tennessee-Kentucky line of the Cumberland Plateau use, players like Virgil Anderson, uh, Clyde Troxel. You can go to the Field Recorders Collective Bandcamp page or just their website and listen to those guys and see what it sounds like. You can. It's great for backing up songs or backing up fiddle tunes or just playing, you know, banjo music um it's common style up there there's a map behind me and it's the southern end of the cumberland plateau and kind of down where i grew up and that was how the older player a lot of older players down there played in this style so you're just picking up with your index brushing down catching with your thumb it's really effective i guess it's similar to the pete seeger lick um or the rufus crisp lick whatever <laughs> do little index rolls but uh if if that's cur if you're curious about that kind of stuff i don't have time to go into detail today but holler at me and we can do a lesson or something and i'll get you i'll give you everything you need to get going but here's what it sounds like with this tune it's pretty cool um i'm tuned way low double c and then i got my fifth run to match the second fret of my first string okay so here we go just Play it fast and then slowly. Yeah, so that's kind of fun. Um, just kind of messed around. Um, I got a, I'm putting out a banjo album soon. And you could follow me on Bandcamp if you want. And I got there's some stuff where I'm sort of working in that style. Um, I've had fun playing that way. So here, here it is, just kind of like playing it slowly, sort of see what happens. But if you're curious about like the left hand stuff, I'm, I'm. 
I think just because I was messing around with Clyde's version, and Clyde played a great, he played this, he used this technique for stuff too, but uh, because I was messing around with his claw hammer version, I think my left hand work is probably pretty close to that, so you could just go and learn that and then try to overlay this technique on it and see if it works for you. It's kind of working for me. interesting um, yeah it's worth messing around with if you've never done it um, get some good rhythms and textures and if you're doing the flip you're perfectly set up for doing some index lead rolls um, peace out <laughs>